cancer, the big C word, strikes fear in the hearts of husbands. What am I going to do? I have cancer. I've been football, I've been a football player. I've worked in constructions. I've worked on my car. I, I've helped my wife raise kids. I've cut them all lawn and all these things I've done. And I wasn't afraid to do them. I wasn't afraid to put together kids toys during Christmas, even though the instructions were crazy. I was able to do all these things, but I wasn't afraid to do them. But now I have cancer and I'm afraid. May I encourage you all to realize that the Lord Jesus Christ has paid the price for all our sins, for all our pains, and for all our sufferings. All he asks us to do is trust him. And in order to trust him, you have to have faith. And you know what that faith means sometimes? It means doing things afraid. Oh, I know. Husbands can't go around where it's just unheard of to tell your wife you're afraid. Jesus knows and he knows in our hearts. And it's okay to be afraid because I'm sure at some point in all of our lives, we've had to do things afraid. This cancer journey has to be done in faith to the Lord Jesus Christ, but do it afraid. He hears our cries. He promises to be there. He promised never to leave us nor forsake us. Trust in him. Trust in your faith. Don't give up no matter how hard it gets. And don't be afraid. And go through this journey. And remember, you're not alone. Jesus is with you. And so are the other millions of husbands who are dealing with cancer right now. I pray that the Lord continues to grow your faith from the size of a mustard seed in the beginning to the great, huge plant that it becomes. And I pray that your faith does the same. Be strong and be of good courage. Thank you.